Tourism represents the human's endless aspiration to reach out to new horizons, remote lands, mysteries of hidden civilizations and colorful cultural treasures. Nowadays, a friendly and flat world is offering the tourism sector a great opportunity. Let's imagine that we are now in any country of the mysterious Southeast Asia. It means we are able to set foot on all four countries being Vietnam, Laos, Cambodia and Myanmar of this region. The attractiveness of the Four Nations One Destination Tour is a blending of typical civilizations and imaginable evolutions between similarities and differences. The very first part of your journey is the visit to Vietnam. This land of more than 40,000 relics and beauty spots always warmly welcomes you with all affection and hospitality. The home to more than 2,000 traditional craft villages and local specialities will extend to you messages of friendship and leave you with a first ever impression that Vietnam is a land of non-stop development. It is a diversified and splendid multiracial Vietnam, marching toward the future with stability and sustainability. You may not be able to discover all cultural and historical treasures of this country in a single visit, but the Vietnamese tourism sector knows how to satisfy to the utmost your sightseeing and discovery demands. Tangible cultural relics are evenly located throughout the country and this may surprise you with the ancient beauty of time hallmarks and millennial echoes from a historical quintessence. Furthermore, there are mysterious natural relics at every step of your journey, such as strange, immense moss-covered blue rock plateaus or endless caves and grottos inside mountains. You'll be able to visit and discover world natural relics such as the extraordinary Dong Ven Rock Plateau and the mysterious Phyong Nha Grotto of Vietnam. And this is the world famous Halong Bay, which possesses an unmatched marine ecology, a masterpiece of nature, comprising of rock mountains of countless shapes and astonishing grottos. Thanks to this, Halong Bay has twice been recognized by UNESCO as a world natural heritage in Vietnam. Vietnam ranks 27th amongst 156 littoral countries in the world. There are 125 beaches, and most of which are very beautiful. These impressive figures are always charming to visitors. The 3,200 kilometers sunny and windy coastline of this S-shaped country will certainly offer you unforgettable summer vacations. And if you happen to realize that Vietnam is one of 12 nations that have the most beautiful bays in the world, such as Halong Bay and Nha Chang Bay, then this country will really be a dream destination for your journey. Beautiful landscapes and open-minded people are what tourists have felt in their tours to Vietnam. Just enjoy the hidden charms, an oriental difference, and perhaps after every one of your journey,
Coupled with tangible cultural relics, Vietnam is also famous for its intangible cultural treasures. If residents of former imperial capital Hue feel proud of their imperial dances and singing as echoes of a once flourishing time of splendid palaces and pavilions, Kim Bac region has got its sweet Quan Ho melodies full of profound traditional virtues. It is really hard to list all cultural layers within the melodies of Kachu or countless other folk chanties. Just come and find out all about it yourself in the boisterous festive seasons. So you will tell yourself that this really is a destination of the new millennium. What you have felt is also the goal that the Vietnamese tourism sector is striving to accomplish. Leaving Vietnam within a short journey, you will be present in Laos, the land of a million elephants and champa flowers as commonly praised by the people. The Laos People's Democratic Republic is located deep in the Asian continent, the converging site of the two most famous ancient Indian and Chinese civilizations. Such is an explanation for the question why hallmarks of Buddhism and the Indian culture are seen everywhere in this land. However, these objective factors further multiply and enrich the Laos national identity and vigor. Buddhist architectural works are most impressive to tourists whenever they set foot in the Laos land. Almost all of these works were built under successive imperial reigns from the 16th to the 19th century. Mountains, plateaus, valleys and plains are typical features of the Laos land. Therefore, Laos tourism sector focuses on making full use of the advantages of ecological tourism, cultural tourism and historical tourism. Coming to Laos, tourists will wallow themselves into the wild nature consisting of primitive jungles, pristine waterfalls and large elephant herds that have consolidated the millennial trademark of this beautiful and peaceful country. Being a Buddhist nation, the Laotians have been well known for their Buddha sculpturing occupation for thousands of years. Thousands of sophisticated statues in this pagoda always attract attention from visitors. Silversmith is also a famous trademark of Laos artisans. A silver souvenir or brocade item would be a not to miss souvenir whenever tourists come to Laos. In addition to a very high density of pagodas in Vientiane, tourists may also discover the beauty of nature, history and culture of numerous different regions in the country. Most typical of all these sites should include provinces like Loran Prabang, which is recognized as the World Cultural Heritage by UNESCO. Kamunan, Savanaket, Wakpu, Champansak, also recognized as the World Cultural Heritage by UNESCO. Xian Quan or Bolivan Plateau, etc., with water springs, caves, and grottos, sophisticated Buddha statues, charming ponds and lakes, and typical marketplaces.
Lamvong dance of the Laos ethnicities is a distinguishingly typical cultural feature. The dance bears a high community sense, able to attract and harmonize many people, including tourists. Such is the nature of the Laos nation, which is friendly, associable, and fully open. Within the trend of integration and development, Laos has changed day in and day out with numerous modern resorts and entertainment sites. In spite of how modern and integrating the country might be, the Laotians have succeeded in enriching their typical national identity. Perhaps this is also the goal that the Laos tourism sector aims to. In the end of the day, national identity is what to keep tourist steps in the land of a million elephants. The third nation in Four Nations One Destination Tour is Cambodia. It is the land of reserved, simple and polite citizens. It is also the land of ancient imperial capitals and the once glorious Angkor culture. Royal palaces in capital Phnom Penh are a complex of buildings built, the first construction in 1434 and the second construction in the same place in 1866, where the king, the royal family of the Cambodian kingdom, stayed. This is also the place where the king gave audience, diplomatic and royal rituals were held. The royal palaces are an architectural compound symbolizing the land of Cambodia, and not to miss place of sightseeing in your journey discovering the land. Most outstanding places in Cambodian Kingdom should include the Angkor Temple, which comprises of Angkor Wat and Angkor Thom. Angkor Wat, or De Tien in Vietnamese, is located 320 kilometers north of the capital Phnom Penh. The temple was built under the reign of King Suryavarman II, 1113 to 1150. Initially, Angkor Wat was dedicated to God Vishnu and later on to Buddha. The temple has a circumference of nearly six kilometers and a total area of nearly 200 hectares. The whole compound simulates the image of the Indian Meru universe. 398 different compartments of the temple compound are decorated with carved stones, which showcase the extraordinary strength and skillful hands of the ancient Khmers. Some patterns and embossments carved on sandstone follow legends and myths originating from the Indian epics. Located 40 kilometers to the north of the capital Phnom Penh is a Buddhist center of the country. Udong itself was the former capital of the Cambodian kingdom from 1618 to 1866. Angkor Thom, the last capital city for the longest period of the Khmer Empire, was built in the end of the 12th century on an area of nine square kilometers. Alongside Angkor Wat, Angkor Thom creates an Angkor architectural compound considered as the pinnacle of the Khmer architectural art and a world cultural heritage.
It would be remiss if tourists skipped dropping at another architectural masterpiece recognized by UNESCO as World Heritage. It is Preah Vihir Temple, located atop a mountain on the border between Cambodia and Thailand. The temple was built in the 9th century to worship the god Shiva. However, due to time passage and war destructions, the majority of the remaining architectural items of the work were restored and rebuilt in the 11th and 12th centuries. Cambodia is also known for having a breathtaking Sinopville tourism seaport. There are whitish sand beaches, endless rows of birches, wild mountain ranges and bluish sea, which is dubbed as whitish sand paradise. In front of us is Sokar Hotel, one of the well-known hotels in Cambodia. Being in harmony with the modern life of the entire vigorously developing Southeast Asia, extremely modern and luxurious tourist resorts able to satisfy all choosy demands from tourists have mushroomed up next to millennial ancient temples and palaces in the Cambodian Kingdom. Cambodia is really thriving. The land of the past glorious and splendid Angkor culture continues its course for succeeding generations. Different Cambodian ethnicities have flared up with the cultural vigor of their thousands years old history. Talented artisans have woken up local craft villages. The Angkor civilization is waking up after countless ups and downs of life. The multiple godland has always triggered passion in tourists near and far. The last nation of the Four Nations One Destination Tour is the Republic of the Union of Myanmar, the country that has the largest land area in the Southeast Asian continent. Myanmar is home to over 100 national races, so it is a multi-race and multicultural nation. Predominantly more than 80% of the people are embracing Theravada Buddhism, and it has a great influence on the daily life of Myanmar people. In Myanmar villages, pagodas and temples are centers of the cultural life. Coming to this Buddhist country, visitors couldn't hold being surprised by its Buddhist pagan architectural works. These are compounds of really splendid and grandiose architectural masterpieces, second to none in Southeast Asia. These could be compared to the Great Angkor Wat of Cambodia or Borobudur Temple in Java Island of Indonesia. There are up to 2,000 well-preserved pagodas in Bagan not including pagodas which were destroyed. It's really lucky for visitors who are able to set foot on this holy land to contemplate the last remaining architectural works of a style that fell into extinction long ago. Bagan used to be the capital of Myanmar for 230 years from the middle of the 11th century to the end of the 13th century. About 145 kilometers to the northeast of Bagan is Mandalay, the last capital of the Myanmar Kingdom, which is also the commercial center, with rail, road, river, and air links to all parts of the country. 
Mandalay is home to the pagodas and monasteries typical for the national spirit of Myanmar and benevolence, gentleness and virtues of Buddhism. In witnessing the splendor of the Teakwood Monastery or pages of the Buddhist prayer books carved on stone as early as the 19th century, one may be able to fully understand the word compound golden land for me. Lost kingdoms left only vestiges of royal palaces. However, these are already unmatched relic treasures for the offspring. And more than 200-year-old charming wooden bridge spanning peaceful Ayayawadi River triggers countless impressions in visitors. Similar to other Southeast Asian nations, Myanmar is also home to craft villages, specializing in lacquer painting, cloth weaving, jewel and gem crafting. If there are differences, these might be merely creative styles. It is because styles serve as foundation and cultural identity for every state and every nation. Coming to Myanmar nowadays, tourists can stay in luxurious and convenient hotels. However, most outstanding of all, from architectural style to decorations, cuisine and entertainment, is its pure oriental manner. It is a talented combination of integration, development and identity maintaining. Amid the splendor and grandiose spirit of the era, there seems to be the oriental mystery. There is no noise, nor bustle. The Oriental culture hides itself in profoundness and tranquility, those that awake the human passions. Perhaps because of this, the Four Nations One Destination Tour will forever be a destination in visitors' minds. It will always be burning passions for discovery of an unknown land.